Excuse me, ma'am. Might I have a word? I'm new to Sandrock, and I would be remiss to pass up an opportunity to speak with a dignified-looking damsel such as yourself. My stars! Would you listen to that? I reckon that must be the phrasings of a bona fide Atarian gentleman. Ain't nobody talks fancy like that around here. Well, what can I do you for, newcomer? Looking for good eats? Or just a place to kick up your heels? I've been ranching these parts for more than 20 years. Reckon I ought to know a thing or two by now. Just ask our builder here. Hmm. I believe you. I'm Ernest, by the way. I'm here on the behalf of the Atara Times. I was hoping to do a piece on that bandit fellow who's been giving you all so much trouble. Would you care to weigh in on the situation? Oh. I reckon you mean Logan. Mr. Ernie, sir, I, I don't suppose you were on that train, were you? You still want to catch up with that rascal? Well, here's my way in. You'd do best by packing your bags. That Logan's a wanted man, and he likely won't take kindly to a fancy talking, pants wearing, city slicking point Dexter snooping around. No offense. If you want to write about something, write about the scenery. Try some of our Yakmal sausage. It's so good, people all the way from Portia make their way over to stock up on it. <laughs> Logan, forget about it. Wait till the Corps catches him, then ask him yourself. <sighs> and it was going so well. <sighs> I've really hit a wall these past few days. Can't seem to get anyone to open up. Are they really so afraid of one guy? Is it my cologne? You, Builder, um... Despite all that, I don't suppose you would be willing to answer some of my questions? About... Logan. Ah, uh, really? You will? Fantastic! One moment, let me just get out my notebook. For this interview, please try to be as objective as possible. Try not to let your feelings or any biases get in the way. It's important that I only get the facts as I try to understand this bandit persona. <laughs> First question. Do you know Logan personally? That's all right. Still, you've lived here for a while, haven't you? I believe your insight may yet be of use. Tell me what he looks like. I mean, have you seen the posters around here? They really couldn't have found a picture of him without a bandana over his face. Just a simple description will do. Oh no! He's hot! Uh, why does everybody keep saying that? I'd say rather... Logan has a disarming glare. Ice cold. I'll never forget it. And even through the bandana, you can see there are stories written on his face just waiting to be told. Logan's accomplice. The man who helped him on the train. What do you know about him? What's his name? Haru and Logan. I see. Yes, I noticed that they seem to be close. Each one seemed to know what the other was about to do from just a quick glance. Hmm... Seems there are several mysteries swirling around this particular figure. I'll have to mull it over. In any case, I suppose this counts as my first complete interview. They sent me here to just do a little throwaway piece for Ernie's World. But this whole bandit thing is gold! My editor Eduardo is gonna flip bandits? On your train? It's more likely than you think. Mm, no, that's no good. Ne'er do well nabs, Nada? Uh, no, how cheesy is that? Uh, hey there, kiddo. I seem to keep seeing you around. You're not following me, are you? Are you alright? I'm fine. Are you lost? Where's your mother? I'm not lost. I live here. My ma's in the desert now. Ah, I see. In the desert? Oh, goodness. Sweetie, where do you live? Do you need someone to help you get home? No, um, you're Ernest, the writer. Did you write the Maltese Pigeon? <laughs> oh, you're a fan, huh? Gosh, why didn't you say so? Oh, that book you've got, that's my latest release. Why don't I sign it for you? Oh, that would be great! Thank you, Mr. Ernest! Hey, anything for a fan. Who should I make this out to? Jasmine. That's J-A-S- Uh, huh. 
And Jasmine, sweetie, why don't you tell me, what was your favorite part about this book? Um, actually, I thought the story this time was a bit contrived. Eh? Contrived? Wow, such a big girl word. Where did you... I'm not finished. The characters are paper thin. And if you've even been paying half attention, you can see every twist coming from a legal way. I think you've been really writing it in lately. Your old stuff was way better. <laughs> well, little kid, with all due respect, you're a little kid and you don't know anything. I'm your primary demographic! Actually, as you can clearly see displayed on the back cover, the book is intended for all ages. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Here you go, and cheerio! Wow, look, Mr. Teddy! We got an autograph from Ernest, the famous writer! Let's put it under our pillow tonight. You really can't please everyone. She's kind of right, though. My novels have only ever really caught on with the under-12 demographic. It's gotten so hard to continue to outdo myself. Uh, the Maltese Pigeon? Eh, sure. Well, the version you might find at a local store, my publishing company shortened it and turned it into a children's book. Perhaps one day, I could show you my original version for the novel. It was nice running into you again, Builder. But I really should get back to work. Despite the one-off critic here and there, plenty of fans are in fact looking forward to what I come up with in Sandrock. So long!